Hey y'all, it's Anime Kamen, and today I'm going to be live reacting to Maria Mashita Arumakan episode 2. I'm going to start this live reaction in 2, 1, go! Had to give it a 2 second countdown because it's the second episode that I'm reacting to. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know how Aruma's gonna pull this off. <laughs> Yo, mirror breaking? That does not seem like a good omen at all. Now, while the opening is plain, I'm gonna try to guesstimate how Aruma can pull this off. Maybe he'll have his and gramp. Wait. Could that be growing up a room and this could be like us viewing the past, maybe? For all we know, like a flashback? Yeah, because that dude has like a spike on his head. So I wonder if this is like a, um, this whole series is a flashback. So sort of like how um, My Hero Academia does it? Where it already spoils it off the bat so that... Deku's gonna be a really, really elite hero, so I wonder if it's gonna. It takes that approach. Or maybe it does. Or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Maybe that dude with the spiky hair could be. The, um. Gramps of Aruma? And when I mean Gramps, I mean. Of course, they're not blood related, but y'all y'all know what I mean. Maybe it could be like the. His form, his form when he was younger? I honestly don't have no idea because I do not read the manga, but those are just my guesses. Hopefully, though, the anime can reveal those answers to us, though, as near its... the end of its run. Hopefully. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Oh, and I swear, I really do love this opening. Yeah, I, after I've seen more anime premieres this season, this still continues being my favorite open of the season, like... No... Oh, Final Air Summoned. Oh, that was quick! <laughs> uh, I would say, oh, this is so cute if we didn't know her mom and dad were such pains in the asses. Yeah. I like how they have all... Nice, comforting music. But we all know they're sinister. What? <laughs> I mean, at least though, his Grams is at least giving him some luxuries, like a nice bed, a clean room. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you know, that error is pretty badass. I love his voice. Mm. Well, at least... Oh. I was gonna say, at least he's smiling, but no. <laughs> in all... In all roses and peaches. Well, at least they're making him a, oh, a buffet for, for breakfast. Hopefully none of this makes him sick, though, because... Oh, right. Oh, let's hope he doesn't reveal that it's, like, human body parts of some kind of, like, Hannibal Lecter shit, and he doesn't, he's not even noticing that they're human body parts. Let's hope it isn't something like human body parts, because then that would... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now he can't say he doesn't want to go to school. 
I mean, with all the stuff you bought... Dang! <laughs> he kind of yo. He is right. If there was a dictionary, Sullivan would fit in the dictionary of helicopter parent perfectly. <laughs> oh, so that explains the hands then. <laughs> what the hell type of noise is that? That sounds like it would demoralize you when you wake up, instead of making you want to wake up. But I guess it would kind of scare you in waking up too if you heard an alarm clock like that. If anyone heard it, that smile must be protected. He cannot. <laughs> What's with those sparkles? And you know, I was just finessed into going to school. Mm. <laughs> okay. That alarm clock made me laugh. Like it was on sync. Like if it was literally betraying the inner workings of Iruma's mind at that specific moment. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what to say. You can't bleed all what. Play no work. And they still sing that. Poor Ruma. It does feel cold where I live in right now. Really darn cold. Oh my. More like that chick, kind of gives me like those um, Satsuki vibes from Kill a Kill a little bit with like how energetic she is, you know? He's pro. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> what the six? You know, I love how they have the six to six hours and six minutes. That. Actually, I actually like that little detail there. Oh, that's just kind of adorable. Although, it might make all the chicks jealous, though. Because if Asami Dasu has, like, fangirls, it could put Aruma into some deep shit. I'm just saying. Okay. Hmm. No. Yeah, I don't even know how that's gonna work. Verduma. I mean, maybe he can, maybe, um, his Sullivan gave Aruma something to allow him to cheat. They probably do. I mean, Bowlers need to be fed, usually in animes or in games, you need to, like, sacrifice something in order to, in order for them to keep their physical bodies family, Bowlers. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> she was so close. Maybe next time. Maybe next time Blondie can can be trying to can think of Uma. Hopefully, I'm rooting for her. Damn, well, even the music is super edgy. I love it. Really great music for a comedy series.
Yo, I wonder if he's already figured it out. Aruma's actual identity as a human. <laughs> I love how he, ha he the teacher has fangirls. <laughs> Okay, that is the opposite. I thought it was going to be something edgy looking as mirror. But it looks adorable. <laughs> Why? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's pretty simple. Kind of reminds me of a hentai watch job. <laughs> If that's the case, why does he wear that cutesy little thing then? <laughs> it probably will be. The master gets expelled, doesn't it? Oh. Never mind then. I guess I was wrong. Off. Yeah, with the way he's staring at him, I wouldn't be surprised if he suspects something. That was my dance. I love this dude. Alrighty. Oh, okay, it's that chick. Alright. Hoping it's a hype beast. Oh, it kind of looks adorable. Aww. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm, some of these look pretty cool. Although I really did like the one the blondie summoned. It's probably some dragon or some behemoth or something so epic that it's gonna be mind blowing. I'm actually hyped for this. Yo, those eyes. You know shit's gonna be lit when a character has that. Okay. <laughs> What's with the dramatic stare? I'm loving it though. Oh. Okay, that was cool. Kinda looked like a Serpent Dragon thing. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a snake. Guess that was kinda of on it being a dragon. <laughs> Oh. I could... The tension. It's like they saved him for last. To tr it's like as if he set him up for some intense humiliation, the professor. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's grumps. So he might have set something up. Maybe the clothing. Maybe he put some kind of charm in there? Or maybe the food, maybe it'll give him the ability to s He's gonna- maybe he'll- th he's gonna probably think of Sullivan. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh 
dang. Oh, that explains it. Go, oh, jeez. Okay, at least now we know why he has some ant antagonistic feelings against the rumor then. All right. Oh, yes. No. Bro, I'm trying to have a Kyleo seal on it. Hmm. Okay. Huh? So you can summon something that can light. <laughs> oh, <no. clears throat> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he's pulling instead of pushing. Yo, did he accidentally vaporize the prof the sensei? <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> He's like the opposite of what his former is usually. He looks cute and adorable there. Like a plushy toy. I wonder if this is his actual natural form or is it because of the summons? <laughs> oh man. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's how he interprets it? Interprets it? <laughs> oh man. That's my day ass. I love how he just fucking has a glorious imagination. Oh, damn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the packed thing that was mentioned earlier in the episode. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, ain't it? This. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, I want to hear this. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> so he's pretty much Aruma's bitch for a year. Okay. <laughs> and you like he has the Yamcha pose too, all knocked the fuck out. You know, it kind of kind of sounds like Josuke from JoJo now that I think about it. And I like how you see all the blonde haired chick all hype. Whoa, what? I wonder why that chick looks hardcore angry. I just like how he walks all like a badass now. <laughs> and 
Nah, he like does the opposite. Like he's not even trying and he attracts all the attention. <laughs> oh, poor Rumo. He does not seem like the type to torture anyone at all. Oh my. I, I mean, they probably weren't even trying to. Golly, they were probably just there in the hall. <laughs> they could have y'all just moved to like the right or the left. <laughs> but I, that's why I love us and my though. Oh, it's that chick from the the other chick from the opening that's prominent. Oh, she crazy then. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I could see why now. Mm hmm. Yeah, she looked crazy. She ain't got the shark teeth thing going on. And I've seen enough anime to know chick with shark cheek are usually damn crazy. I can't wait <laughs> for the next episode. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, I, I really like this episode. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I really liked it. It made me laugh. And while it wasn't as bombastically funny as episode one, this was still a great episode regardless because for one, we made some good plot progression. For one, at the very least, Yuruma got through his first school day. He was able to summon a family, like, which was Kaleido. So I do like that. And on top of being able to like summon a family, I love how it just sets itself for humor when Sullivan's all like, y'all can't break that contract because if they break it, they'll both die. So I kind of like the hilarious dialogue like that, the randomness. It really, really makes for some gut busting humor from a story standpoint. And then I like how things keep on escalating with Iruma getting more and more attention because he already got people. You already got haters in the background too, aside from fangirls like the blonde haired chick, so I like that. It actually makes the episode much, much more fun. And that's why I really, really liked it for the most part. And let me see what else we're gonna get. Yeah, he likes, sounds like Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> It's like the saying the word Iduma was like though it's like it's a forbidden word. Oh it's as if for him saying Uma is like saying Baltimore in the Harry Potter universe <laughs> if I had to compare it. <laughs> That's actually cool though. We're gonna get some more building by seeing Clara coming becoming friends with Theruma, at least going by the episode title. Unless it's trying to deceive us. Now aside from that, I thought it was good from a character standpoint. You you, you also see Asamideos mellow out a bit more because you actually see him act more friendly towards Aruma in this specific episode. So I also like that bit of character development. You see him become more mellow. And additionally, you do see Aruma, 
even though he doesn't go through big bouts of character development, you do see him develop a little bit because now everything that goes on in like Demon Academy, it really, it's not as phasing as much as it did in episode one. So I like it. He's starting to get used to his setting too. So you see him go through a bit more of maturity. And you get to see some development for Sullivan because now he's spoiling your room even more going into this episode. <laughs> and I love how self aware Duma is when he calls him a sort of like a helicopter parent. That was actually kind of adorable. So that's why I felt the character interactions and the develop se development sequences in this episode were really good. And then on top of that, the animation and art, while they weren't the most epic animation art I've ever seen, it was still pretty nice. They got the job done. Soundtrack was great, though. Surprisingly, for a comedy series, the music is like one of the biggest highlights. While in most comedy series, it's usually not one of the biggest highlights. So I'm actually impressed, too. And the voice performances were amazing, especially the voice performances from Kaleido. Like, the way he voices his contempt for Iruma, it felt really, really legit. So that's why I gotta give it some props from the sound department, and that's why I'm, I can confidently rate this episode an 8 out of 10. And I can safely say this continues its not nice momentum from episode 1. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on my reaction or the episode. Rate the video, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.